The Story of Jack and the Beanstalk Many years ago there lived a woman and her only son, Jack. They were quite poor, and one day the woman found that she had no money left with which to buy food. All they had left was an old cow, so the woman sent Jack to take the cow and sell her at the marketplace. Make sure you get a good price, she told Jack. On his way to the market, Jack met a strange little man. Where are you going with that cow? the man asked. To the market, Jack replied. I'll buy her, said the man. I'll give you these five magic beans for your cow. Jack had never seen magic beans before, so he quickly agreed and hoped that these magic beans would make everything better for himself and his mother. Jack ran home to tell his mother about the great deal he made, but his mother wasn't pleased at all. Beans! she shouted. How will those beans help us? They are magic beans, mother, said Jack. Magic beans! Oh, you silly boy, said his mother and she threw the beans out of the window. When Jack woke up the next morning, he saw a huge beanstalk growing right up to the sky. Without another thought, he climbed the beanstalk while his mother stood staring after him. After passing the white clouds, Jack found himself in another country altogether. He found a giant castle and decided to ring the bell. A giant woman came out of the gate. How did you get here, little boy? she asked. You must come inside before my husband comes. She took Jack into the kitchen. The tables and chairs were like mountains to him. Have some breakfast. You must be hungry, said the woman. Jack ate a plate full of food. Suddenly, loud steps could be heard. That's my husband, said the woman. You must hide or he will eat you. Jack quickly hid in the oven. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman, shouted the giant as he came into the kitchen. You are imagining things, said his wife. There is no Englishman here. Your breakfast is on the table. The giant sat down to eat his huge meal, and then he asked for his golden hen. From his hiding place, Jack could see that the hen laid an egg of solid gold every time the giant asked her to do so. Soon the giant fell asleep, and Jack rushed out, grabbed the hen, and stole back down the beanstalk before the giant awoke. Jack's mother was very relieved to see him, and they lived well for a time by selling the golden eggs. But the beanstalk was still there, tempting Jack. One day, Jack climbed the beanstalk again. This time, he sneaked into the castle and hid inside a cupboard drawer. Fee-fi-fo-fum! I smell the blood of an Englishman! the giant said while trying to find Jack. But he couldn't find him, so he went to dinner. After finishing his dinner, the giant went to get his magic harp. He set it down on the table. Play, the giant commanded. All by itself, the harp started to sing the most beautiful music ever heard, quietly lulling the giant to sleep. Jack had never seen nor heard such a beautiful and wondrous thing before this. As soon as the giant was fast asleep, Jack jumped out of the cupboard drawer and grabbed the harp. Master! Master! called the harp. Help me! The giant awoke and began chasing Jack. Both of them began to climb down the beanstalk at once. But Jack was lighter and faster than the giant, and he reached the bottom quickly. Get me the axe, mother, cried Jack. His mother quickly handed him the axe, and Jack started to chop the beanstalk. Suddenly, there was a loud crack. The beanstalk began to topple over and tumble to the ground, taking the giant right along with it. And that was the end of the giant. 
It was also the end of Jack's adventures. He lived happily with his mother, along with the hen that laid the golden eggs, and the harp that sang the beautiful songs. The End <laughs>